Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium with Java framework tutorial, we are going to understand how we can use the data provider, basically read the data from the Excel sheet. So previously we have understood that we used the built-in functionality of the test ng and we use this annotation at the rate data provider and provided these rows of data. So we can consider like this is a row and which has two column for username and password and we were iterating through. So basically by default, when you use data provider test ng data provider your test that is here will be iterated through four times and you will be able to test without writing this particular test case or script multiple times to test your application with different set of data now this approach is not very good in case you have hundreds of script the reason being will you be using the data provider in each of your script because your script might need a different set of data so this one is using username and password and then the other one might be using registration the other one, one will be using something else depending on the functionality you are testing so how we can externalize this or how we can use excel sheet to maintain all our test data and then read the data from the excel sheet and use it into our test case that's how we'll be actually doing it in into the real world in the actual projects so first thing i want to keep my excel sheet into the test data right so all the resources are here so config file goes into config file we'll have logs reports etc so test data is where we want to create the excel sheet and create the data there so let me create a new file there okay or uh, this particular let me copy the location so we'll go to that location the project location okay and then we'll simply create so this is src test and resources right this is where we will be having our excel sheet so i'll quickly create our test data excel sheet here i'll say new and we'll say microsoft excel workbook so here i'll say just um, just test data so all lowercase to reduce the complexity there and open this test data so basically in this data sheet how we are going to structure our data so we have sheet 1 sheet 2 sheet 3 now we will be categorizing our test case in a logical fashion so say for example there is a test case which tests the login functionality so what we can do is any login functionality test related data that is used we can store it in one sheet okay so i will rename this sheet and i'll say login right say for example login is the name of the sheet and here i have username right and the password as the column names all right and then we will have this data into username and password in my sheet all right so let me quickly populate this data so i'll say uh, the the username and password a different set of data that i want to work with okay so i'll just put this data which was there and just put some garbage characters there just to make it quick and the last one is the correct one so basically this is the correct username and password that we'll be using to log in all right okay so let me change these as well a little bit so it's clear that we are using different set of data right so we have username and password now this username and password data is there into these columns right and a different rows are representing so it's kind of similar fashion that you see here so row and then different columns as we used in data provider but now we are not hard coding this data into our sheet we'll be reading this from the excel sheet right so we have saved this here okay and after saving this the second thing is now if i refresh this project you will see the sheet is available here test data dot xlsx okay now the second thing is how my script is going to read this excel sheet and populate the username password in this particular test case so there needs to be some sort of utility to read the data from the excel sheet right and to read the data from the excel sheet we have the library which is apache poi library which will be really helpful and we'll be using apache poi library to read the data from excel sheet okay so what all dependencies are required to implement apache poi or the library into pom.xml so how we are going to add those dependencies the first thing is we have to add the dependencies so open pom.xml and here i'll show you what all libraries will be required okay so this is one of that okay so let me uh, create 
or let me uh, create a list of it just give me a moment so what i have done is i have created a list so let me format this pom.xml so on windows just press ctrl shift and f and it will format your pom.xml properly okay so what all libraries basically we need to implement apache poi or reading functionality or leading reading uh, functionality within our framework is this particular list so we need this poi uh, then OXML, then schemas, and then XML beans and common common collections, right? These are the version numbers. So how you will get this or the dependencies? So let me first remove all of these. Okay. So let me remove all of these first, and then we'll add those. Okay. So I'll show you how you can get those and add. So here, let me paste everything here. Okay and then we have this xml beans and so xml beans and comments collection as well okay so spawn up to this dependency so how you can find these libraries or dependencies basically is through the maven maven repository right so once we are in this state right so say for example you haven't set up the apache poi you need to go to maven mvn repository and here you have to search one by one so i'll simply say apache poi and this is the one right so org apache.poi select this and you will see this 5.2.0 is the version the latest one that is available so i'll simply select that and copy this dependency okay so as soon as you will copy it you simply have to come here and paste that dependency here right similarly you have to do for the other so i'll say the other one which is poi.ooxml and i'll go to this maven repository search for it and use this poi and make sure that you are using from apache or org, augapache.poi and use this ooxml and make sure that you are using sort of same versions 5.2.0 sometimes say for example your apache poi is 5.1 and then you are using ooxml different version so there might be issues uh, so you have to make sure that you are using the correct version or the similar sort of version okay and keep pasting here so once you are done with this so you have to ensure that you have this oxml schemas xml beans and common collections right so let me quickly add all of these okay and then we'll start writing the utility and we'll use this latest one 4.1.2 then we have this xml beans so or apache xml beans that's what we have to use and select the latest version and the last one is commons collections for okay i'll paste this list so that it's handy for you in the description section of the video so you can basically go ahead and refer to that so commons collection 4 and we'll select this 4.4 and copy it so once we have copied then control shift f will format and save it so as soon as you will save it the left hand side let me move this here uh, it started building so what it, it does is it will basically download all these dependencies and will store here in the maven dependencies okay so all of these jars you will see that they are basically available so you'll see poi o xml and then there there will be comments collection then there will be poi all of those dependencies will automatically get downloaded and that's where that's why you know this may project is really helpful you do not have to go ahead and download each of these manually and add it into your project if you are not using pom.xml you would have to basically go ahead and download each of these jar right so you this is the file you can download directly and you have to add that jar manually into your project but that is not you know recommended um, so once we are done now the next thing is this is our test data.xls we will write a utility that will read the data from this excel file and display it right so let's quickly go ahead and write that utility so where we will write the utility so all the utilities that we are writing will be in the utilities folder of this test java right so i will simply create a new java class there new class and i will name it as read xls data okay something like that i'll include this main method as of now uh, just to understand how we are going to read the data so now in this particular read xls data util we need to start writing the code which will basically read the excel data and display it we'll first understand how to read and display on the screen and then we'll use this ut utility to read the data and use that data into our test cases so in the next tutorial i'll write this utility to read the data and display on screen and in 
for the tutorial we'll implement it within our framework so that's all about this particular tutorial on how to set up your dev environment for reading the data from excel sheet and be ready to start writing the utility to read that data so i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching